Total Home Improvement Company presents the Spring Blowout Special of the Season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313-728-2025 for your free in-home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313-728-2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. You're watching United Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion. TV! See, I'm a gangster with God and I'm spreading the word. Truth be told, that's why truth be heard. No matter what your gift is, it's made to see. So give it up. Hey, hello, 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 Detroit. I just wanted to reach out and touch you today. Uh, what a beautiful day, and I must say, welcome to United Gospel Explosion TV. What a show. What a show today, because this is a show of encouragement today. This is the show of touching hearts today. This is the show where we're reaching out in this climatic time that we see in our community, in our world even. But even in all the mist and all of the uh, confusion, it's still love on the flow. Love is on the floor today. And I must say that we are looking at the election um, in a couple of weeks now, less than, less than two weeks. And we're excited about the possibility of opportunities. And, you know, um, as I pause and go in, I always like to shout out to our different places, to all our hosts that's been on the show in the past and that you'll see in the future. God bless you. It's nothing I could have ever paid them or done with them to to make that possible. So I know that that's the work of God. Uh, you know, you got some explosion TV. How did it become the good news TV show? I never knew. Who knew? Who knew that we would be able to touch so many lives and get some, so many uh, people started in the industry? Uh, so many hosts, so many actors and actresses. So many great people, I feel, and they all have a story for God. I mean, these are everyday people like you and me, but they all have a story for God. And they'll come in and, and confess to God that um, the things that they were going through were never as bad as it seemed. And I'm just so thankful for that. Uh, keep in mind that the word over in uh, Proverbs said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. But we should acknowledge him in all our ways. And let him bring the light and the fruit into the pasture. You know, and so that's what I'm on today. I'm kind of on the pulpit in a way. But um, more so it's just a message of thanksgiving to all people. And to especially God's people today. Uh, let's, let's start this. I'll send out a special prayer. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've already done in our lives and, and, and thank you for the audience today. Thank you for the people that's at home and just just looking for a way out. You give them that way out, Lord. That's what I'm praying today. Because your word says no matter what the sickness, they could be addicted to something. No matter what their turmoil, that you make a way for them and all they have to do is ask you. Because you said if we knock, the door will be open. If we seek then we'll find it, you know, and, and, and that's the level of understanding that, that we have right now, that it's not us in this fight alone. So I want to just uh, go on and ask you guys, just, just, just out of curiosity, is there anything, uh-oh, hey, wait a minute, let me say that. Again. Is there anything that God can't do? And, I, and I'm telling you that it's not, that at 100% of 100%, He's been able to do any and everything for us. And so that's why uh, I'm throwing on my glasses, my readers today, because, as I said, I am excited about what's going on in America right now. Because when we find ourselves in turmoil, when we find ourselves toe up from the flow up, I feel that this is the time that God's able to come in and begin to work with us. 
even people like us. I'm talking about everyday folk. Yes, I have a ministry, and this is it, what you see. I go crazy as it is, but that's what he gave me. But what if we pull all of our ministries together, all of the love together, and we begin to, and we begin to work in one accord for something? Uh, y'all know it's election time. I, I'm bringing that in. And, you know, the devil wants us to think that religion and uh, I would say goodness has no place in elections because when you're talking <laughs> the religious folks, you're talking the good folks. They're the ones they don't normally invite to the party. But however, I must say, they might not invite them to the party, but uh, we are here. And I'm just so glad that we're able to stand up today. Uh, I got my hostess coming in. Uh, you see her a little bit on, as, as we open up the camera. But uh, I got my hostess in here, and, and, and I'm talking about the goodness of God. And I'm talking about this election activity that we in and that how uh, the world has often says that religion should not take place with politics. And I always ask myself in a crazy way, Denise, if religion don't take place in politics, then who do you expect to be in politics if it ain't religious folks? The other folks. And, and that's a scary thought. Now, here we are. Uh, just two weeks, two weeks, y'all. I got, I got less than two weeks in the wake up, and you gonna be in there voting. And I must say also, uh, you guys might not know early voting here in Detroit. Early voting is going on right now. I know I was uh, doing my little work out there at the Northwest Activity Center, and I saw them voting there, so I'm gonna get up there and get my vote in early on, uh, before I do my next workout. But they're making it so convenient to be able to participate. And I thank God for that because a lot of young people may not know, they don't remember, because I was a kid then, the March on Selma, when all those people was marching across the bridge and in that time of era, well, before we got out, we still don't have our full rights, but then the separate but equal thing was, was going on and we had to be in different bathrooms and other people. You couldn't even drink off the same fountain water. Can you believe that? Your water is better than mine, or, or, or something about my lips. If I if I drink out the same water fountain as you, that would do something. But but thank God we're not in that day right now. But some people feel like they want to go back. For them, it was the glory days. For mm -hmm. us, it was one step from slavery. Mm -hmm. Keep a foot on our neck, and I'm talking about during the '60s. This was going on that you weren't able to let go and and to be the best you could be. Uh, you weren't able to even uh, go into the same classrooms as whites, you know, and, and that's something that we're not going back to. So I guess when I hear Kamala here say, we're not going back, no, we're not going back to that time. And, and I know that even my generation have a hard time thinking about that and we know what it is and we don't want to go back. So, so I'm just letting go and let God. We we kind of let it flow today, yeah. Uh, uh, but but it's in the light. It's in the light of Scripture when we talk today, and uh, we want to be able to reach out and touch somebody, reach out and touch somebody's hand. You know, that's our theme now. Absolutely. Because, because that song was so powerful. Because it says, if you just reach out and touch somebody's hand, you that's can good. make the world a better place if you can. Absolutely. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. Yeah, and that's a blessing because, <laughs> you know, uh, so much was done through music too, Denise. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, Absolutely. I'm going to let my hostess say something because I know she over there wearing up in the blue <laughs> She She been throwing the ball over there like, come on, let me get in, coach, let me in. <laughs> nah. but, but you deserve it because mm -hmm. cause you understand the importance of love. Absolutely. And it's not even so much about election. It's it's about choosing freedom mm -hmm. to be able to love one another. And I think that is at stake because when you separate the races to the point that and not just race that 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 you red and I'm blue and mm -hmm. and, and, and I can't I can't agree with nothing you say, even if it's right. I can't hear anything you see on your other end, even if it helps me. Amen. Something's Amen. wrong with that picture. Absolutely, absolutely. 
How do you feel about what's going on today? I mean, in the light of how I'm talking about it. Yeah. Can you see that this is a thing where love is a state? Mm-hmm. Even though it's our it's our gift and it's our right to choose that. Mm-hmm. People can often come in and, and throw a confusion in there. Yeah. And, and it, it's bad when somebody can come in your house mm-hmm. and get you fighting with each other in the house. Right. Right, right. You know, it ain't like they necessarily care about the house or what's going on, but they come in the house and they get you fighting to to be a part of what they're saying, mm-hmm. which may be contrary to the house. The house may have had peaceful hymns during Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. but they feel like uh, you should have a wrestling match, and it just don't fit your agenda. Mm-mm, that's crazy. Yep, it is, you know? Yeah. And definitely a, a, a life from the pit of hell, I say that, you know. Uh, come on Because we, we all bleed the same blood. So I say, cut me open, I'm blood. I don't think it's going to be no different color. And you think about that, that's just diverse. You got to look where that come from, you know? Yeah. That just come from hate. It's been since the beginning of time, you know? It comes from so, the enemy. Yeah, and that's the enemy always trying to come steal, kill, and destroy any way he can, you know? Right. I tell you, peace and love is the best thing we can actually have. Even Martin Luther King say, don't let nobody... um do you so bad you're going to hate them, you know? Right. I'm not right. quite doing this quote, but, you know, in other words, you know, don't let nobody put you down that much that you should t- be able to hate them, you know? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's hate is powerful. You know, this is powerful as love. The weapon you know? of hate is, is a destroyer. Mm-hmm. That's like bringing out the atomic bomb. And if you can plant the seed of hate yes. in somebody's community, whether it be their household, mm-hmm. whether it be their job surface, or whether it be their country, Absolutely. if you can plant that seed of hate, it takes root, y'all. Be very Absolutely. careful what you allow to take root to your heart. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm looking behind the scene, behind all the rhetoric, what's going on. And I'm just saying we need a peaceful Absolutely. resolution for ourselves here in this country. Absolutely. Here in our community. Right, and, and all that hate, other. absolutely, all that hate is taught, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's taught. a taught hate, you know, from your household, where that comes mm-hmm. from, you know, because mm-hmm. you could put, I mean, they had a program, they put all the kids together, you know, uh, you know, the uh, Caucasian, white kids, black kids, they was all together, right? Because right. kids, that's why Jesus loved the little children, because they just so kind, and one lady, they was, you know, um, Caucasian family, they had a hate, they wouldn't what's going on there. And she's, oh, my baby, I mean, they ain't going to be playing with them kids, whatever like that. As soon as them kids got together, as soon as they got together, they all started playing. If you watch kids on a playground, come on, now. they meet people. They're going to meet some <laughs> friends. You know, they're going to be hide and seek. They don't even know each other, right. you know? Especially that's if they, 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 if they, they size. They size and they age, exactly. <laughs> and that's why Jesus, he loved the little children. That's why the enemy is so mad, you know what I'm saying? Because the children, that's why it's so much happening with the kids. That's why we got to pray for our children. Be a nosy daddy. Be a nosy mama. Be a nosy uncle, auntie, or whoever you got to be to watch out for them children, you know? On, yeah. And let them and pray for them every day it's a daily bread you know mm-hmm. not just sometime you know what i mean when Absolutely. they in trouble you know what i'm saying yes. try you know because if they in trouble they already in trouble you know what i'm saying suffer so, not the little children to come unto me jesus I, said that he, that's and i word. love it absolutely you, you know, know so that's what we have to do you know teach that love you know what i'm saying it's you know you be love. good you know you want to know what's going on in your community of course you know what mm. i'm saying you want to be able to know what's going on but to hate somebody for no reason you know where is that coming from? You know, right, so right, it's, you right. know, so but I thank God that we learning. You know, we learning. Yes, we learning. And I, yeah. And, and, and I'm not even looking at the individual. I'm not looking at mm. at, at the at the individual. Right. Uh, I have my choice for president. Obviously, you uh, guys right. Of course, of course, that's, of course. That's my choice, and you have your own choice. Absolutely. Which one of you, but but I'm saying, this with the light of uh, someone that can speak power mm-hmm. uh, into our country. That can speak love into our country, and and and, and can I use the word hope? Hope, speak yeah, hope. hope into our country mm-hmm. that there's something mm-hmm. to hope for, and and that's the reason why I chose Kamala myself because she was at least speaking on it because we don't know people, period. Exactly. But you mm-hmm. had to make a choice, uh-huh. so I'm looking that she was speaking on, um, on giving people uh, something, mm-hmm. the everyday folk. Absolutely. And that touched my heart. Absolutely. And I believe that touches the heart of God because he says, when you touch my children, mm-hmm. when you when you take care of my sheep, Absolutely. we the sheep in the country. Mm-hmm. But but when you touch my sheep, when you, when you how you touch them mm-hmm. is how I look at you. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. if you touch them with love, he looking at you with love. And if you touch them with hate, misunderstanding, 
Exactly. Exactly. The power of confusion. All these things, doubt. These are powers that we are trying to uh, control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even within ourselves. Because, don't get me wrong, I don't want to put uh, Donald Trump and Kamala on the spotlight that it's all them. Mm -hmm. It's you. Absolutely. It's you. How's your heart feeling today? What are you willing to accept in your life? Mm -hmm. You know, what is your what is your platform? What What is your ideology of how you're going to get up and live this day? I know you, Denise. Now, Denise, I just say, I want just from people, you, you know, sunshine, the vote, the, you know, get out and vote, though. You know, don't yeah. just forget, you know, it's just, just not the president. You know what I'm saying? We have other proposals on the ballot, too. That's right. going to be for our community, you yes, know, absolutely. because that's what's going to be helping our community, you know. So we got to make sure we vote. Read the whole ballot. You know, you could get you a ballot. You know, they sent, matter of fact, um, shout out to Janice Riffrey and uh, city um, clerk. They send you out a pamphlet. You know, you can look at the ballot already. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, just check these people out and see who you're putting in. You know what I'm saying? See what their history is. You know, don't mm -hmm. just be eating, meeny, miny, mo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it look good don't over here. Me. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do me. But I'm at the ballot, but don't do me. Like, who so who does it? I never check them out and see what they're going. It's a lot of people that's doing a lot of great, great things. So definitely take care of your community too. You know, and right. do all, do all of that. You know, right. just get out and make your vote count no matter what you do. And that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I, I figured that. That being able to uh, relate to, and I say everyday folk, people like me and you, people like your sons and your and your grandsons and your uncles, and mm -hmm. your, even the ones that's a little off track mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. even even the ones that's the drinkers. Mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. an Uncle Ned. Uh -huh. I got an Uncle Ned. Go ahead, Uncle. My Uncle Ned was a whiner. Uh -huh. And I ain't ashamed of it because right. I love Uncle Ned. I know you love him. Because he, he was so funny. Sure. <laughs> he would hit me in the chest whenever he saw me. He taught me to fight. But, but what I'm saying is, oh, even though people may not have went the way you went, Amen. I think as Christians, people of God, mm -hmm. our hearts should be open. Absolutely. To yeah. let them in the, in the door. And you guys always hear me say, I got it from my mama. Uh -huh. Um, Laura Torrance down in, in heaven. I love her. I still love her like she right here sitting in front of me. Uh -huh. And it's been 20 years. Wow. But it was just the blessing of how she treated people. Mm -hmm. And if you came in the house, you weren't a stranger. Mm -hmm. uh, the sweet potato pies she cooked was for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Mama, why you cook 10 pies? <laughs> but by the end of the day, they would be gone. Send one down to Miss Ellen May. Send one over here to Miss Sarah Jenkins. Send one, and, and, you know, and there was still plenty left for the family. Mm -hmm. But uh, 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 to me, I grew up in the house of love, and that was acts of love. Not that it was always perfect. No, absolutely. But are you willing to give the day? You know, are you willing mm -hmm. to, when you make your plate, make some for the neighbors down the street? Mm -hmm. I think we lost a lot of good things. Yeah, you know, a lot of that has kind of gone, you know, especially with Big Mama gone, you know, different <laughs> things like that, you know Big what I'm saying, mama. you know, oh, Mama, right. you know what I'm saying, right, Grandma, right, right. they gone, so a lot of people don't get together, but still try to get together with your family, whoever's around, you know what I'm yeah. saying, at least try to get together, and to say to you, your mama was great, but the apple didn't fall too far from the tree, <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying, God. so, you know, God. God I can't gave that love, like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that's you may can't cook like a <laughs> yeah, but it's love, but you remember that but love, I mean, it's yeah. the love, and, and, and I think that as you give it to your kids, as you give it to your to your family, and, and, and this is what I'm making a correlation of, when the president gives that to a country, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about he ain't got to walk around like his heart on the sleeve. Uh -huh. I saw a little bit of Obama talking uh, last night. Okay. And, 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 you know, he just amazes me because he talks to everyday people, everyday folk, mm -hmm. even though, you know, you're talking about the president of the United States. Uh -huh. And, and uh, we know he ain't poor like us no more. You know, he, he's a college boy that went to school, active in Chicago, and you know, you know the story. Mm -hmm. But it was this idea that you still respect that platform that he had mm -hmm. because when he talked to you, he's inclusive of you. Mm -hmm. You're included, right? Exactly. You, you, he talking at the barber shop. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely. He talking at the supermarket. You know, mm -hmm. one of these kind right. of guys you right. would see. Right. 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 But right. but but he had some points that that was amazing, and the points was that that we're looking for uh, people that can pull our country together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we need a healing. Absolutely. And I'm praying for healing. Absolutely. Heal. And I did see a, um, I did see the debate with the vice presidents um, with Vance. Oh, and really? Other, and it was awesome. It yeah. was awesome. And Vance. They um, record now. 
Uh, yeah, and you know, very much so. And then Vance, um, you know, because he came from a single mom, you know, mm-hmm. mom raised him single mom, you mm-hmm. know, and different things. So he was down, he'd been in the streets too, you right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, you could tell. Yeah, you could tell, but you know, got a smooth. heart for God, smooth, right. but got a heart for God, you know, and want to mm-hmm. do the right thing too. So that's what I'm praying for everybody, you know, right. all sure. both parties, you know, have a God work it out, you know what I'm saying? And right. we got to do what you got to do, you know, so you don't be like, I can't vote. Like my son used to always say, <laughs> you come to the barbecue, but you don't ever bring nothing, you know what I'm saying? Right. You got to take a, you, but you complaining, you know, <laughs> right. who made the table, table salad? I made that table salad. Oh, you and, you're saying, and then you're saying that, but I ain't bringing out a thing, but you complaining, you right. know, so if you don't vote, you know, you shouldn't complain yeah, about anything, right. you know, so that's true. It's going to be all right. Uh, yeah, it's going to be all right. Yes. Like you say, no matter who in the White House, God is in. That's the, right. Jesus is in the right house. On, you better man, believe that. I don't want that. to hear you saying, <laughs> I'm right. going to make a t-shirt just for, just for you on that one. <laughs> That's right. Say, what up, though, Detroit? What yeah. up, though? Oh, here we go. What up, though? What up, though, Detroit? Here that's we from, go. That's from our Detroit. You know, because that's it, love. And just love. And you pick up stuff like we're like, like you always say, you like being around young people because they keep you young. You know absolutely, what I'm saying? Absolutely. And they absolutely, keep you young yeah. and they teach you, you know. And, and so. not only that, their heart is open to learn. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. And uh, you, you see young people, they come in. They got their own thing they're doing, mm-hmm. but they ain't got too big to stop and listen to you. Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. I mean the ones I deal with, right. the entertainment. And the, like the little kids that's been on Metro Youth Day. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it's been in my heart. And I got to say this out loud uh-huh. that uh, you, you're going to have an award show. Yeah. Uh, probably towards the opening of the year mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for all the people that's been on the show. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Young and old. Yes, you, know, I, yes. I, you know, I go to thinking about them sometime from El Noor to, uh, wait a minute, don't let me get teared up in here. Uh-huh. You know, to Isaac, to. Yeah. Uh, the Browns. I'm gonna yeah. say Browns when I say Isaac because yeah. they're a team. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> you know they're a team, yeah, and, 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 and you know it's just beautiful to uh, give people flowers. Yes. You know while they can smell them, absolutely. while they alive. Absolutely, absolutely. And so Denise Agua, all these hoaxes has been coming here. Yes. Uh, bending they bending they gas, burning their knees. You know, it's, it's a way that we can say thank you. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. And I know God put that in my heart. So yes. with all of the team, uh, you and Veronique and how we get oh, together. Yeah, Veronique, all of us. Shout out to all together. of us. Shout out to VQ. And she's on a, uh, she's on some business today. Uh, but uh, I think we're Ricky all Brown, here. all of us, downtown, you know what I'm saying, downtown. downtown and yeah. um, from the very beginning, um, the Cofields, Kimberly and them, oh, wow. they doing their thing over know, there. Uh, they got you a, remember when Kim was Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. And, yes. And, uh, of course, her husband would come on. Yes, both time of time them. Well. Yes. You and, know. And, and I'm just saying, it was so exciting. Yes. To uh, to be able to look back to some of the people. Yes. Here. Uh, 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 Kelly, night flight chick. Yeah. You know, came in uh, bringing in Rick Ross and all those guys. Yeah. And Kelly used to uh-huh. do that for us. Yes, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I could go on and on. Rocky. Uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, all these people, mm-hmm. I think that they have went on to do great things. Uh, yes. All you guys are doing great things. Yeah, Hattari, uh, all of them. It's so Hattari many. Julie you know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. I mean, I could, I could go Big E, producer. Man, we could just have a show just naming out people, the people right. that have been on the show. But, <laughs> but I, I'm saying it's in our heart. Amen. To do the right thing, absolutely. Right and as we do it on on our small level, mm-hmm. uh, that's what we see, or, or we we feel the prayer for our country to do on the larger level. Absolutely, to be able to reach back to people that has put into this country, mm-hmm. not in a way to say that they're nothing or they're or mm-hmm. they're less because of the state of the country today. Right. Which, by the way, if you allow me to say this, uh-huh. uh, the U.S. is like. One of the most popping countries in the world, yeah, leader yeah. of everything, any of diseases they hit, you know, they're looking at us for leadership yeah, still. And so, as long as we keep ourselves together, like Mom would say, uh, then you say, <laughs> keep it, don't, don't get all fluffy because you don't get knee high to a grasshopper. Amen. Absolutely, absolutely. You don't get knee high to a grasshopper. Yes. You don't get a little money now. I, mean, I don't care about your, your money status, whether mm-hmm. you be a billionaire, a millionaire, or, mm-hmm. or, or a dollar hand, like right. me. But, uh, but, but definitely. Don't claim it. Definitely. No. <clears throat> Absolutely. But, but, but definitely, uh, be able to stand up for yes. other people. Absolutely. How are you helping the man next to you, building him up? I mean, not tearing them down. And, and, and if you're in the tear down, I can't excuse that in uh-uh. you. You're if right you right come there. in with the, with the attitude of, sent you, you know, mm-hmm. uh, the niece don't wear her hair right, you know, and, and, and I can't stand it. She, her clothes are too colorful, you know. And, 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 I mean, if you're one of those you kind of that, people yeah. that find mm-hmm. something to complain about, right. don't stop here. 
I know that's right. Don't stop. Don't stop in our country, please. If you if you hear me, mm-hmm. please don't bring that into the head of state. Absolutely. Don't bring that into the head of state. I know that's right. Because even more than you, because you know the country is going to run anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if everything fall, the country run without the president in the box. This country mm-hmm. still run because it's set up where you have a vice president mm-hmm. and Congress and Senate. Everybody will step up, but and then it's people behind the scenes that runs the military. It's people behind the scenes that runs the finances. Mm-hmm. So the president is a powerful figurehead, mm-hmm. but more than just that, but but they are a figurehead. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. so as a figurehead, what I'm praying for out of either president is that they have the tolerance. Amen. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And the, uh, In the gonna, heart. Amen. Absolutely. Um, to, to feed us the right food. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to say that. Okay. Well, let's, uh, 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 let's, let's have a sports minute right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here you go. Here you go. She let's you. have a sports minute. <laughs> I know. I got too hot. She <laughs> no. said I got. No, no. Woo. You're right. You're right I'm about ready, that. Though. I'm ready. I uh, came uh, here worked uh, up. So up. The, absolutely. Look. So what about our Lions on that one? <laughs> She's trying to choke me. This girl wait till I drunk the water. And she talking about, what about the lions? Mm-hmm. Woo-wee! We're going to have the time. Woo-wee! I'm just time. saying, we already ahead of time, as far as I'm concerned. Uh-huh. As long as things don't fall apart, look, we five and one. Amen, amen. And you guys may not know that the lions are five and one. Mm. And you know, it feels good to be a winner in amen. Detroit. Amen, absolutely. You know, it ain't all about that, but, got, but I love to make fun. that big because... You know, these guys have worked hard for it, and, and I think Detroit fans. Absolutely. And again, I'm going back to that base of love. It's such a community. Yes, yes, yes. Um, they'll get together and can't even get in the park like me, can't afford the tickets. Help me, somebody. <laughs> but uh, they'll get in. They, they, Tim, Timmy Tim, the director, said, me too. And I'm like, I want to go in there so bad. Tim got on his uh, St. Saint Brown shirt. And I got one of those too. But, but even if that's all close as I can get to it, mm-hmm. I can love it. Mm-hmm. I can love it hard. And uh, when you go downtown mm-hmm. or different places and you see tailgate parties, mm-hmm. Now, everybody at the party, don't get it twisted, ain't necessarily going to the game, <laughs> but they're watching the game. Amen. And we're enjoying ourselves. Right. And, and, and what a up, what a uplift for New Detroit. Mm-hmm. I say New Detroit. What an uplift for New Detroit. Absolutely. This is new to us, y'all. Absolutely. Like you don't know. And for the last couple of years, they showed out of this. But, 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 but years passed, I'm talking 10, 20 years. Yeah. We ain't seen none of this. Right, exactly. So enjoy yourself, Such Detroit. Such a time. This is keep it peaceful, guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that argument, like you just talked about, piggyback out for you. Just be kind to each other. Somebody, my brother used to always say, <laughs> if you're in the airport and somebody step on your toe, you say, and somebody, you just, they say, um, you step on somebody's toe, just say, excuse me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my exactly. brother Mike. Just exactly. say, excuse me. You know, I ain't got to be, ah, you get down my toe. You know, come on now. We got to have some peace, you know? Yeah. Peace, but but know, I mean, so. I mean that's a good place to point is mm-hmm. in sports. Yeah. Uh, and I think the spirit of Detroit's team mm-hmm. is what we all love. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, they coach Dan. He's a beast. What I like about him is he took the responsibility. Uh-huh. If you think back, a lot of you guys have been following the Lions. If you think back to when the last year, at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. they didn't start off great for them. But Dan stuck right in there with him. Everything happened. He wasn't like throwing his players under the bus. Absolutely. And, and we, we got to get better because if they're a good team, they wanted it more than us. You know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. And, exactly. And, and, and you guys, we wanted more than them. It's election time. You ready to take your <laughs> souls to the polls? Yeah, we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick break. I'm here with the hostess with the most of Mr. Denise Agua. I had to call my strength in. Here we go. Thank you. And God bless. We'll be back. You're watching you United Gospel Closing TV. Gospel explosion, united. Gospel explosion. TV. See, I'm a gangster with God, and I'm spreading the word. Truth be told, that's right. Truth be heard. No matter what you give is to make the scene. So give it up for victory. Gospel explosion. Explosion. TV. Explosion. TV. Explosion. TV. Total 
Home Improvement Company presents the Spring Blowout Special of the Season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313-728-2025 for your free in-home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313-728-2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. Justice for Mario Willis. Truth. Facts. Evidence. Matter. Log into justiceformariowillis.com. Read for yourself. You're watching United. Gospel explosion, united gospel explosion. TV. See, I'm a gangster of God, and I'm spreading the word. Right. Truth be told, that's right. right. Truth be heard. No matter what you give is, it's made to see. So give it up that's right. for victory. United gospel explosion. Keep your day job, man. I get thrilled with that. I get thrilled with that. Who could have a better job, you know? Because we talk about, you know, uh, uh, United Gospel Show, too. We should certainly unite God's people together. I feel on that kick. Amen. But when you like unite them together, is there anything God can't do? Not us. But you keep them in the middle of everything. Yes. You know, even though we out here making the movies and we. We doing the fashion kings. I love fashion kings. <laughs> we working with uh, Gina T. and Pears the fashions. Mm-hmm. My man Will Phelps. Special shout out to y'all and all the producers. Man, don't let me go name the names, but, mm-hmm. but our team of producers. You know, I got Joe Bosman, the big boss, and all these guys making movies too at the same time. Yes, uh, Paul uh, Frank, Johnson. Paul, yeah. big, big Paul Frank. Yes. Uh, Tari Jumbi. Yes. Uh, myself. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't forget uh, Sean Woodard. Uh, mm-hmm. All these guys pulling together. And I think it's that same. See, when you put the seed of love in the ground. Absolutely. I'm just trying to say something to you. Yes. If you want to be successful, mm-hmm. don't judge your success by the monies you make. Because I tell mm-hmm. you one thing. I've made some dollars in my life, mm-hmm. but I've never been able to make them be still. Mm-hmm. Right. I try to make them. I tell them when I go, like you train the dog, uh-huh. sit. <laughs> I put them in the drawer and say, sit. And before I know it, before I get to the corner store, come on now. I, amen. I know what you mean. You know? It ain't easy. Uh-huh. It ain't easy, you know. <laughs> but God. But God. You know, and that's the life we living in. And, I, and I, I'm just glad that people know we stand for that. Um, in the in the industry, they call me Red. Oh, here come the red. See, <laughs> see y'all just can't keep doing what you're doing because you can't hide it. I don't really care. That's for you and God anyway. Amen. But, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that being a being that being a uh, elderly guy. Mm-hmm. You know, in that in the circles that we roll in. That's Some right. Some of these guys are twenty and thirty and twenty and nineteen yeah. in the fashion industry. But you know, God said, get up there and, and, and walk for me. Amen. Because they don't know. Um, but, and this is us quietly here on our set. Uh-huh. Don't y'all tell nobody. But, <laughs> you know, about five years ago, uh, my toe was amputated. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. stepped on the nail, boom, 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 mm-hmm. boom. And they wanted to go on up the leg. Mm-hmm. But they caught me with the toe when I came back. They, they said, I'm going go on further. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, no, you's a lie. I know you's that's a lie right. from the, the I, devil's I, a lie I, from I the pit of hell. Right. I ain't going no further. They I know say, that's well, right. You, you may not be, you know, you may lose it in mm-hmm. a year. 
Well, that's been five years ago, Jeez, and I'm still dancing you, and singing. Thank I get Lord. a little touch sometimes. Uh-huh. I feel it a little Amen. bit sometimes. Amen. But guess what? I'm still here. Hallelujah. I'm still yes, here, and it's still here. Absolutely. And you know, and that, that's what I'm talking about. It's just the same seed. I'm still getting on that. I'm saying. Yes, sir. It's that same seed that you plant. That flourishes you and your family down through the years from yes. there. Keep on watering it. And the choices you mm-hmm. have. Absolutely. To love your grandbabies the way you do. Mm-hmm. That's a choice. Yes, it is. Because yeah. anybody don't love, they can't stand kids. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You know, but, but, true. but for you to love your kids and to love your family and to mm-hmm. be able to stand up. Yes. You know, stand up. Absolutely. For Absolutely. something. Absolutely. You know, and don't be ran over like a, a, a marshmallow right. all the time. Your convictions mean something. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm telling them with the fellow, they like, I say, well, you know, I, I may sip a little wine social, but I'm not a, I'm not my Uncle Ned. <laughs> no, you know, Ned. I had an Uncle Ned that taught me not to drink too much wine. I know. So right. Red, Ned made a sacrifice for me to see in his life. I know. So it, it's, it's people making they sacrifices it. They for really you. They do. I, I remember a time, too, when I, I was younger. Yeah, I was young. Yeah, we lived in New Jersey. I was raised in Jersey City, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And so we had went, my little baby sister was a baby sister at the time. She, we had went, took to the hospital, you know. Went, thank God she was okay. But uh, so this man was in there. He was all, because I always say um, to my mom, I used to drink this wine. It's called a Key Alpha. I don't know if anybody knew that wine. Key Alpha. Now, that, it, that wasn't on the, on the expensive okay, shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's called Kiafa, AJ. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it was with, up with Bean Boone's farm. I'm never oh, oh, I don't no, know. It wasn't with that though, but it was in the key. Anyway, the man was all up there. You know, he was all broke up. I'm like, sir, what what you doing? What's 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 wrong? He said, that that Kiafa got me up in here. Oh, <laughs> when he said that, I was like, Lord have mercy. I ain't drink nothing that Kiafa ever since then. Right, right, right. <laughs> Catch up with you in a while. Uh, I gotta teach you. But you know, but you know what? I'm okay, just so uh-uh. thankful that that love. No matter where you find your circumstance, mm-hmm. that if you ever get caught up in something like, because if not for the grace of God, that could be you or me. Because mm-hmm. you were drinking the tea off you don't admit it to that. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but you saw him and got an example. Right, exactly. Like, I, I, I saw saying. Uncle Ned and uh, Uncle Ned would do some strange <laughs> things, you know. He, he would lay down on the ground. He was making love to the grass. I said, Uncle Ned, no, I ain't, ain't going to be like you. This Amen. is not going to happen. Amen. This is not going to happen. But, but even though uh, you see all of that, that you have a choice to say, I'm not going to do it anymore. No matter how far Uncle Lee it was, you mm-hmm. still have a choice to say, I'm not going to do it. I, you know, I mm-hmm. choose not to do that. I, I choose, I choose today Amen. to be sober. Amen. I Amen. choose to be sober as absolutely. a high. My, my best high is sober. Amen. Absolutely. I'll have a beer with you at the football game. I might sip a little wine at dinner, mm-hmm. but, but, but I don't want to, I love this sober high Amen. because with this, I'm ready for everything. Absolutely. You got to be sober minded. I, I can get up and you throw my it. shoes on mm-hmm. and run. <laughs> I can still run. You got you got to be too sober far. minded, and I know y'all love Uncle Ned. It was Ned, you said. Oh, oh. But, Uncle Ned was the best because he had the best stories, right? <laughs> and you know they would tell on everybody. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, and they you know they like Uncle Ned. Don't you be in there talking to them kids? You say, all right. And, yeah, she was the one that would be there, and, and you know, and, and you love that, and you love that. But I'm saying, love your entire circle. Amen. I, I was thinking about how we, I spoke at a beauty supply. I might tell the story before, but a beauty supply and then, you know, some of the girls, they used to be hanging out, you know, down the street, walking, whatever like that. So on Sundays when I come in, maybe after church, I would always cook in this beauty supply. Shout out to Mr. and Mr. Young, Golden Beauty Supply. They, mm. they believers too. And so, uh, I used to cook something every Sunday, you know, and they come in, mama, they'll call you mama. Hey, mama, what you got to eat? So I feed them, whatever like that. And she said, you know what? Y'all treat me so good in here. I ain't going to steal from y'all no more. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they used to be getting us, man. This one girl, she came in. She every time she came, changed her outfit for her shoes, oh, you know. God. And then Miss Young was like, "Ooh, she tried in the shoes." The girl left, talking about, "Ooh, this is nice," you know. So, oh, but they would tell you, "That's a good one." That you got me with that. It's one. True. I ain't gonna steal from y'all no more. I Shout did, out to, and I, I heard can see their faces good. when she said I, I, that. <laughs> and I'm sure she. I uh, hope she's doing good. I heard she was wasn't doing so bad lately, you know. So. Uh, so thank God for that. Yeah, it's so funny. But they come and tell you, you know, but still show them some love, you know. Show them some love. Uh, you know, that reminds me of when old Romans, uh, I think it's 828. Uh, it goes something like all things. All things. Uh, you know, works together. Amen. For you, for your good. Mm-hmm. For those uh, who love the Lord. And are called. called by his purpose. Amen. And so, and so what that means is when you have a love for God in your heart, mm-hmm. 
You ain't got to have it all on your forehead or nothing. Mm-hmm, that's right. You go where you have to go and keep him first. I, you hear me? I commit my shows to him. I commit everything to him. I'm always going to put him first mm-hmm. and say Amen. that out loud. Amen. As a that's right. Here. Absolutely. Because I don't want you to think that I'm powerful like that. Amen. For because, sure. you know, by myself, I found myself weak on many things. Mm-hmm. But when I begin to understand that things do work together for the good. Mm-hmm. As long as I love God, you know, mm-hmm. and it just let that be your exuberance. And that's it, and it's all you, you know, know so right. That that's the word, Romans yeah, eight twenty eight. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? That, yes. That, that get that get that Excuse out. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, shoot, shoot that exuberance off in the crowds you go in. Absolutely. And when they ask you what you're so happy for, it say, "Hey, I just love God." Amen. You know, I'm just doing my Amen. Thing. That's, and, that's and that's everyday it. people. Everyday people, you know. you know. And I just want to rebuttal from last. I think say it was um. It was Second Chronicles seven fourteen the scripture if uh, my people you know mm. who called by my name that yes. was so that was Second Chronicles God seven fourteen I mm-hmm. just wanted because I had gave the wrong scripture on that but it was Second Chronicles seven okay. fourteen so I wanted okay. to think about right. that thank yet. you thank you make sure y'all know that you know right, right. go but, study that Amen that. God is so good though guys it's a roadmap you know? we got a roadmap to freedom y'all we amen. got a roadmap to love and it's already in the Bible Absolutely. all this stuff we see and there's nothing new though and nothing it's new always understood. been one against the other it's always been that type of thing uh, and, 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 and and as you look at the bigger picture mm-hmm. it's uh. It's love against hate. Absolutely. I'm just saying, it ain't nothing new. Absolutely. Uh, you can go back to Nebuchadnezzar. I can give you some stories on that. He was so hateful that these little smart boys didn't follow <laughs> what he said. And he gave him a whooping. He said, I'm going to throw y'all in a furnace and see how your God treats you then. Mm-hmm. You know, Rashak, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh-huh. And he wrapped them up and threw them in the furnace. And they walk in there. and the, It was so hot. It was so hot. You know how you, uh, if you ever been down south and you can see the heat that coming in the street look like a wave? Mm-hmm. But it, it was so hot that when they opened the furnace, that wave of heat came out and burnt the gods, mm. killed the gods, mm. burnt them up. But these boys walked on in the furnace. Jeez. And the thing is that it's not so much even about the boy individual, Rashak, Meshach, or Bed Negro. Or Bed Negro, I said. That's what I was going to tell you. Rashak, Meshach, and that Bed Negro. He was there. He was there. He, we were there. That was on my mind. But That's so it funny. It was just the idea yes. of their faith. Yeah, and their man. Love Absolutely. And how the love will protect you. Amen. That's why you say all things. They came up and said, I ain't eating your meat, King. I ain't doing that kind mm-hmm. of thing because we got our own thing that God done already told us to mm-hmm, do. Mm-hmm. Like you may have. But that's all right, though. Walk in it. Amen. Walk in. I can't say walk in your power. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It makes sense. You got the power. If you see all that, then walk in it today. Right. We need people walking in and be a leader in it. You know. And 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 I'm all tying this back in. I know Denise wanted to get me off politics. No, if you're the leader, if you're the leader <laughs> of the family, call them call them foolish nephews of yours mm-hmm. and tell them. You know, get off the couch, <laughs> sit the blunt down. Look, I'm talking to your nephew. Sit the blunt down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's for real. And get your butt out and go vote on. Boy, don't let me come over there and catch you up in there. And you ain't even. I can go there. I'm going to go there now. I'm, I'm just trying to be nice about it. But sit it down. Mm-hmm. Sit the drink down. Sit the blunt down. Yeah, I said it. Whatever else. Oh, they're going to get out. I want to see all communities there. I want to mm-hmm. see the crackheads come in there voting. Come on, because it means something, really means something to you, because they'll cut your check off. You may be in your know, insurance. I'm saying something to you. I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm just saying, you ain't nothing new to the world. Uh-oh, we got some claps in there. Oh, we hey, got some hey, sound hey, effects. Hey, hey, those, those are smoking weed like Bob Marley, and you ain't got his money. It's okay, I understand. You living, you're young, you're going through some... But Get up and be a participator. All groups in there, not just from the business world and in the in the, in the church community and the, mm-hmm. in the social community. Everyday people, if you're out there, put something in it. Because if you don't put nothing in the pot, Daddy used to say something. <laughs> Boy, if you don't put nothing in the pot, you ain't getting nothing out the pot. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm Daddy, Daddy, I'm seven. I'm seven. Get that rake over there, boy. Did I ever I'm like, okay. So he taught me a work. Absolutely, absolutely. 
<laughs> and you got. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all no, know you're what funny, it but is. that's fake. My hey, down soft people. He taught you some stuff. You hey, I'm mean? to my down soft people <laughs> that was raised by Southern parents <laughs> that didn't mind uh, making you get up and work. You Amen. know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's praise God. right. It's gonna be all right though. You know, you and that it. faith without right faith without works is dead. You know, yeah. you want to eat, you gotta have some faith. Do a little something. You know, and still dream. You know, yeah. And somebody's out there. They just haven't. You know. You're in a slump, maybe, you know, in a lump. You know what mm. I'm saying? Trouble don't last always, you know? So yes. you got to know that it's going to be all right, no matter what you're going through. It could be health. It could be anything. Get up and move. Do what you need to do. Don't just sit there. You know mm. what I'm saying? As Torrance talking about, as far as the election and stuff like that, that's another thing. But other things that's on your heart and your mind, make sure you get up. Don't just lay there in a stupor. That's the enemy come still. Because you got to get up and move, you know? Yep. If you don't move, you're going to be just sitting there, you know? And it's not, when you don't move, move stuff don't work you know in certain days people mm. should do half of what they normally do mm -hmm. i'm not condoning what you do or not condoning mm -hmm. but i'm saying whatever you do do half of it and some days i don't drink a whole pitcher of water i might drink a couple of cups mm -hmm. just so my stomach is bloating right. but i'm saying do sometimes you do half of what you would do so you cannot be in the days in the stupor and let life be passing you right, by. right sometimes you have to uh Check yourself. I'm not checking you. Mm -hmm, I ain't, uh, 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 you ain't gonna get me in there fighting with you. I ain't checking you. Know, Check yourself. Right. Check right. yourself. Be able to look in the mirror at yourself. And you know, uh, in my road to wherever I'm at, it's many days I would go in the mirror and look dead in the mirror. And can I tell you the truth? What I say, go ahead. you punk, if you don't get yourself together. Mm -hmm. You know you better than that. Absolutely. I'm talking to me. That's right. In the That's mirror. Because right. if right. you don't check yourself, if you don't beat yourself up, it don't matter what nobody else say about you because you ain't right. listening no way. That's right. It comes a point where it have to be personal. Mm -hmm. You know, That's your true. change has to be personal. Absolutely. Where, where, where you feel it and you want to change. And you go in there, yeah, I am smoking cigarettes again. I said I wasn't going to smoke. When I'm coughing up brown and black stuff all mm -hmm. out of my mouth. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And you know that means something. Right, exactly. You know exactly. that means something. That's right. You know that stuff that's in the, that morning one. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm talking to the smokers. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, so, so something, something in me said, uh, quit. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to quit. But so no, so no, I had the power to do half of what I did mm -hmm. before. Absolutely. 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 And then in another week, I could do half of that. Amen. That's right. And then it just became a little bit and I could kick it to the curb. But that was my little thing, you know. Right. It's okay to want to do better. Amen. That's right. That's it's okay right. to want to do better. Absolutely. It's okay to relax too. I ain't telling you. People are so self medicated in our country. Him smoking that joint, that blunt, may have stopped him from going out and shoot somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm telling that. Reverend Torn saying that. Right. I understand. But I'm saying examine yourself. Right. So you can see are you doing the things that God made you to do as a king. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be a king? Absolutely. To be Absolutely. a king, you got to govern yourself. Absolutely. Not the country. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I'm going to let everybody do what I say do. No, no, no. Can I even do what I say do? Absolutely. Can yeah. you do what you say do? Try that yourself. Can I text you? Try that yourself. Whatever your problem is, test it. Put it to the test. Mm -hmm. See, are you the boss of it? Or is it the boss of you? You know very quickly as you begin to test. Because if you don't test, you don't know. Amen. That's if right. you smoke, stop smoking for a day. See what that means to you. That's right. That's right. You don't know the enemy until you test him. Mm -hmm. But boy, he it's something it's something. Keep praying hard. Right. Remember, put God first. Absolutely, because greater is us that, that him that's in us and he that's in the world. So yeah. we can do it. It's good to be alive, but it's better to live. Mm. Why you could be alive and not living, you know. Wow. So you want to be able to live while you're alive. So get up, you know. That may happen. That's why God give us a new beginning, you know, a new morning. So we're still here. We living on purpose, you know. Mm. So get up, you know. what I'm saying, do get what up. you have to do. What you didn't do yesterday, I always say, do on, do what you need to do today. You know mm. what I'm saying? Instead of waiting until tomorrow, you know, if you could do it today, do it today. You know, so make sure you get up and do what you have to do. Still dream big, you know, because you're gonna be all right. 
It's already all right. So make sure Ooh. you get up. You're going to be okay. Ooh. Don't listen to them. They say Ooh, you somebody got me talk. Oh, you know what they were saying? I was just reading about dancing. today is that, you know. <laughs> Don't stop. You had you know, me like, you know, boom, now boom, I'm just thinking boom, about boom, that. Boom, boom. You know, on, your now. plan, sometimes you got to move silent. You know, boom, for them boom. plans that you still have, that you got, you, you can't tell everybody everything all the time, you boom, know, because they're going to see it in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So you make sure that them plans you got, you can't because somebody going to be trying to knock you down. Like I always said about the, it's a little meme. But he was a little, he was a, he couldn't hear. Remember? Yeah. He couldn't hear. He was a little, uh, uh, I think it was a turtle. And mm-hmm. you know, he was climbing up the tree, right? But mm-hmm. he couldn't hear, right? So he, they would tell him, don't go up there, don't go up there. But he thought they was cheering him on, you know what I'm saying? So they was saying, but he wound up getting to the top of the tree because mm-hmm. he didn't listen to them naysayers. So don't mm-hmm. let nobody tell you can't do something. Oh, don't do that. Why are you going? Sometimes you got to be quiet. Don't tell, like, uh, color purple. Better not tell nobody but God about it, you know? So right. sometimes you wow. have to definitely don't just walk in silence, you know what I'm saying? Denzel Washington talked about that too. Some things you got, you know, God give it to put in your heart. You can't tell everybody. Just some of you may tell people you could trust because somebody may be envious. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They may get mad. Oh, you doing that? You think you this or and it's not even like that, you know? Okay. So we just got to okay. dream, see, dream, but hold on to the dream. And when they flourish, they're going to see anyway. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, Ain't nobody it. no better than nobody else from the uttermost of God. I don't care what you are, who you are. Nobody's no better than you. You know what I'm saying? If anybody treats you any on, different, Denny. you know what I'm saying? Then they don't need to be in your circle no way. I'll Get you a small from, circle. I'll just you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, to, you know. I was waiting on my sister to catch your breath. No, I, no, it's okay. <laughs> You're right, but I'm just no, saying. No, I love it. No, I you know, know what it. I mean, though, right? This is what we need. No, Absolutely. they know what you mean. You know what I mean? Because I do know what you mean. Because you know what? The, uh, 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 she, what you started off saying, created was he that's in you. Absolutely. And he that's in the world. Amen. And I just think that's a, a powerful, powerful uh, message from the Bible. And, 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 and that's open enough to say that, that you're going to see different things. Absolutely. You're gonna have some calamities. Oh yeah, for sure. And it, uh, uh, if you if you a little boy ain't never did nothing, my daddy used to say, just keep on living. Amen. Absolutely. But, but it's not so much what you do; it's not what you do; it's how you do it, and and, uh, uh, and how you learn from it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I think life has a whole series of resting places mm-hmm. for us. Absolutely. We get called up to examine the thing. And absolutely. most of those things deal from the inside out. Absolutely. Not the outside. Either. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. You know, uh, yes, the little uh absolutely. the little snow the little snowball is beautiful at Christmas. You mm-hmm. stand there getting lost in it, you know. Yeah. And it ain't so much even the beauty of the ball, but the peace that it's giving you. Yeah, you shake it up. And, and you know that and I, I'm saying it's it's open. Uh uh your life is open to you today. And every day, I yes, believe in miracles. Absolutely. And uh, absolutely. The, the biggest miracle is the mind he gave you. Absolutely. He gave you a mind. Yes. And, and, and often say, say a mind of Christ Jesus, but you know, your mind ain't always on Christ Jesus. Right, that's right. But, but, but it's a mind of change. Yes. That one thing you can do any, any second. It's change your mind. You can lock me in the biggest cuffs in the world. You can put me in the, the little basement room. Mm-hmm. You can have me in jail. This for brothers even in jail. But mm-hmm. the freedom comes through your mind. Amen. That's right. Not, not necessarily the, the outward circumstances you see. Amen. So you guys hold on to that one. That if you find yourself mm-hmm. in these positions that many would say you failed, mm-hmm. you ain't failed. It's not a period. Mm-hmm. It's a comma. Mm-hmm. Don't make your life a period on the bad instances. That's right. In a comma on the good. Switch right. that around. Right. On the good instances, you know, you put a comma there. Right. When you find yourself in a bad, shed in situation and you get out of it, you put a period to that. Absolutely. That was part of your learning tree. Right. And you put that on the Christmas tree, just like you got the other bulbs, mm-hmm. but that ain't the one you do well on. Right. You know, it's something in this thing for you. Right. It may be delayed, but not denied. Come on. You know, come on. You know what I'm saying? So Stop it may be delayed it. for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You, but, wait a minute. But you're going to be okay. Say that again. You know? delayed, Say that. Delayed, but not denied. You Is know? that a t-shirt? And, uh, <laughs> That's a and t-shirt. And we got to realize that we circumstances that we put, a lot of stuff we may put on ourselves, you know, to come out, but... The devil can't do nothing but what God allow him to do. Yeah. So this is power of God. God, he is in control. <laughs> believe me. So, but the enemy got to go to God, ask permission. You know, even he had to ask permission even for Job. You know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got to, so we got to know that. It's you a just got to trust the Lord with all your heart and lean out your own understanding. Cause we're trying to figure it out and God already worked it out. He you know, we're trying to, ways. and he will direct your path. Yeah. You know, we try to figure out what it is. We start getting worried. How about, you know, worry instead of worrying, start praying. When mm. you start worrying, start praying. Mm, you know, so on. we learned about 
about that. And, you know, you'd be like, oh, because we go through that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I was thinking about even during the pandemic. I was like this. I was like, you know, you everybody was just so, you know, you, know, you want to live. You know, get God. I was like, oh, Lord, like Hezekiah. You know, the, Lord, let's give me 15 more years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's give me some more years. You 100, know? maybe. And then, and then, right. But then you want more after that. After you, see God, after you see God and brought you through. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we still living, like you said, live on purpose. You know, yes, Romans 828, guys. Remember that? All things work together for good. For those, for those who love, love God Lord. and you call according to your purpose. Yes. You know, you got to love them today. You got to let love them. The, let the open your heart. In. Amen. Open up your heart. Say, I don't understand a lot Man. of different things, but I do know that Jesus, he first, that he he was, he said he was born, you know, then he died, but he rose again. So if you mm. believe that in your heart, God going to take care of you. So just make sure it's going to be all right. Every day might not be a good day, but it's going to be something good in that day. Okay, come you know on. Saying? Something's going to be something good in that day. So we got to remember that. Let's I'm think on that. things that's good, I'm pure, that. lovely, and a good I'm report. Those are things that we think on, you know, because mental health out there, guys, is real. Mental health is so real. So help and, and us, you know, know to be. And, even, and it's needed, not just in low places. Yes, but also Lord God. Happens. And let me say this, mm-hmm. that it just came to me that this may be a learning experience mm-hmm. for Donald Trump, uh-huh. that he could have been so rich and so mm-hmm. out of touch mm-hmm. that these elections mm-hmm. are helping him. Because I don't care what you're telling your side. You uh-huh. see the other side. Yeah, yeah. You're learning from each side. Absolutely. And and, 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 and most leaders want to touch each side. Absolutely. And, and, and to touch them, then you have to begin to soften your rhetoric. You have to begin to change your tone. Mm-hmm. You have Absolutely. to begin to reach out and touch somebody. Absolutely. And I just want to end the show with that. We came in with it. You guys, sometimes you don't know the, know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. But but the whole thing is to reach out. That's right. And touch in, in the song goes, say, say somebody's hand. Mm-hmm. It, it ain't anybody's hand. hand. Mm-hmm. Somebody's hand. Somebody's so shouldn't you can touch somebody. Absolutely. If you can't touch somebody, then examine yourself. Exactly. It, you got some sin. I'm, so, I'm sorry to say. You got some forgive me to say to Amen. get back in the circle. Absolutely. To touch somebody. Absolutely. But, but I'm just saying to y'all, reach out and touch, touch somebody's, somebody's hand. hand. Make, Make this world a better place if you can. Come on, reach you out, y'all. Kind y'all one reach another, out, guys. Be kind to one another, y'all guys. Y'all reach out, okay? y'all. Y'all get ready. Happy Halloween to the kids in a good way. In a good way. You know, I hope y'all time. have a good angel night coming up. <laughs> and y'all, come on, let's get and together. And be safe and treat the kids right. Somebody. Don't we want we want treats, not no tricks, guys. You know what I'm saying? Gotta and and, uh, and I gotta name. say one thing. Mm-hmm. Obama said, uh-huh. "Don't boo." Vote. <laughs> God bless you. You've been watching United Gospel God bless you TV. Guys. Hey, it's a good news TV show. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew it would be a good news TV show? <laughs> Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion. TV. I'm a gangster, God, and I'm spreading the word. Truth be told, that's why truth.